Okay, hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about a very special specimen I found on the internet. Now, this guy called Andrew Tate, or Cobra Tate, as he likes to be called. That's actually a pretty fitting name, considering the fact that he's a massive fucking snake, but I'll talk about that later. But basically, this guy capitalizes on the fact that the internet is full of men who are confused and don't know what to do in their lives. Basically, they have no general sense of direction in anything. And so this guy's going to come on here and he's going to peddle his masculinity bullshit, which I mean, some of it is kind of true, but this guy exaggerates it way too much. And so he's going to come on here and peddle his hustle bullshit, uh, make a lot of money and exploit these people's lack of general direction or even father figures for that matter. Uh, people look to the Internet for father figures all the fucking time. Jordan Peterson, right? And OK, now before I start criticizing Tate, I'm going to give him some credit because he is very rich and he is in shape. And good, good for him for that. Okay, these things are clearly very important. And I do think Andrew Tate has a certain authority when it comes to certain things. And I do think he's pretty funny as well. Okay, I understand that it's just a character, but to some degree, he is kind of like that in real life. You can't just hide behind lulls and irony whenever you get caught saying something fucking stupid. And yes, I do understand that Andrew Tate is a massive comedy skit as well, but let's be honest, it's a lot more than that. Okay, he is a lot more than just a comedy skit. He is trying to be taken seriously. And the evidence I would give to that is, look at this clip. In this clip, he is arguing with somebody about masculinity and the state of things of men or whatever the fuck. You know, like typ typical, typical man shit. Okay, he's arguing about that. And the criticism Andrew gives to the points the other guy made is basically, you're out of shape and I'm in shape. Uh, look at this clip. I think for him to say that a man who's physically strong can't be mentally strong is also stupid. But I also understand why he's saying the ideas he's saying because he has a natural insecurity based on the fact that he's not physically better than every man and the way he gets around it is to pretend that that's not important. Which is fine. Lots of people do it, right? Stupid people saying being smart is not important. Poor people saying being rich is not important. It's a common defense mechanism that everybody does and I completely understand it. However, most people... Would Look at the way he does it. Ooh, people who are uh, fat think being in shape is not important. Trying to sound all intellectual and condescending and shit. People who talk like this are massive, insecure fuck. What Andrew's trying to do in this clip is he's trying to reaffirm his own superiority to himself about the fact that he is in shape and the other guy is out of shape. So Andrew's clearly better than that other guy and Andrew's right. And he's trying to do all this to himself, right? And this brings me on to my main point and problem with people like Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is just an empty shell of a man or a human. These people seek validation from everyone, men, women, whatever, trans, Bruh. he's in between, whatever. Okay. And you can see this in the way Andrew Tate portrays himself online or the way he behaves and interacts with people, especially people who disagree with him, which I'll show more clips of in this video, right? And, and let's just look at the first thing. He wears sunglasses indoors in a dark room. You might as well be wearing a hat, those fucking doom cone hats, okay, that say, I am insecure as fuck, please help me. Because that's what sunglasses say to everybody. Fucking rain! Fucking... Bullshit. And, and when you when you have a face like this, bro... Look at the top of his head! <laughs> okay, I think Andrew Tate took a little too many punches in the chin, and now it looks like a thing one. I, I'm not gonna give this guy shit for his appearance because that's something he would do, right? But, but you get the point, right? Sunglasses. Why? And I am beautiful, no matter what they say. <laughs> And secondly, people like Andrew Tate are always flexing something because they know deep down inside the advice they're giving is bullshit. So they always have to show it works. It worked for me, so it's definitely going to work for you, right? So this is why you should listen to me because, uh, because I'm rich, right? He's always flexing something. And yes, to his credit, he has these things, right? He's rich. He lives in fucking Romania and he has a harem of concubines, which he can do whatever the fuck he wants with. To his credit, yeah, he has all these things. And again, I acknowledged his success at the start of the video. But the fact that he always has to present himself with at least a woman, some fucking symbol of love, like a dumbass supercar, or uh, like pose without a shirt or whatever to show he's in shape, shows that he is insecure as fuck, okay? People who are secure in themselves do not feel the need to do this. Andrew Tate has never represented himself in a humble manner online at all. Again, you can say things like, oh, Sid, it's his character. It's what he does. Maybe, but he's never portrayed himself humbly. And this shows something. It means something. It means he's insecure as fuck. If it was just a character, he wouldn't feel the need to knock other people down all the time for not having the things he has. 
So that shows he is actually insecure as hell, right? Like take, for example, this clip where Andrew is debating somebody on whether women are better, safer drivers than men or not, which is actually a statistically proven fact. And he literally says to his opponent, you're just sticking up for the chicks, so one of them will drive to your house. You come on here, deciding you really want to stick up for the chicks, and maybe, you know, one of them will drive over to your house. Right, re really? Come on, what, what's the, why is it necessary to slide an insult like this in a discussion like that, right? It, it's to seem superior, it's to seem, oh, I'm better than this dude, right? Uh, I get the chicks, I don't need to be a male feminist to get chicks. People like Andrew Tate are constantly sizing everything up in their heads. Ooh, can I beat up this dude? I'm richer than that guy. I got more money than him. And they're trying to measure the worth of another person so they can reaffirm their own superiority over them inside their own heads. That chick disagrees with me. Oh, she's just fat and ugly. That dude has a problem with the things I'm saying. Oh, well, he's a poor broke dude who is out of shape or whatever, right? People like Andrew have zero confidence and zero sense of self-worth. Because if you have to derive your confidence from the fact that you can probably beat somebody in a fight, you have more money than somebody, or you get more growth than somebody, you do not have confidence, you have insecurity, and you're trying to use these things to fill that insecure hole in yourself. Like this fucking thing one looking man. And on a final point, Andrew Tate is fucking stupid. And this point should be important to the people who actually take him seriously. Yes, sadly, there are people who take the things this guy says seriously. People actually follow his fucking advice. And you shouldn't because he's fucking stupid. And I'm going to show you why he's fucking stupid right now. And I could tell you to watch this whole debate, but I'll just save you the time, right? This egghead argues against literal statistics and basically says, that's just an internet study. Oh yeah, the internet study. Oh, why didn't I think of just following the internet study? And not You're right, because we could have gone for the experience. Oh, my experience matters more. And when it comes to the debate of women being safer drivers than men. By the way, men cause more deaths on the road and women have cheaper insurance rates. So yes, they are safer drivers. But according to Andrew, that's just an internet study or a piece of paper you read online. Point is, this is the guy you want to take advice from. And here's another thing, right? So they, they debate this women driving thing, right? Which where Andrew tries to put his own experience over everything else. And then this Mensa high IQ society kickboxer. Yeah. Legend Andrew Tate walks into one of the most blatant traps I have ever seen. Get out of the kitchen a little bit. Um, Andrew, do you believe the earth is flat or round? Spherical? Low? Round. What's do you believe it's round, right? But when you walk outside, it feels like it's flat. Brother, brother I, I, I... It looks respect. flat, it feels flat, but you believe it's round. Why do you believe the earth is round? Because I have personal experience that would prove to me that the earth is round. Uh, how, how do you know the earth is round? How, how do you walk in a trap like this? And yeah, th this is ridiculous. People like Andrew Tate literally work like this. Feels over reels, okay? Personal experience over statistics, right? And the advice people like Tate give follows the same epistemology. That's why it is shit advice. Do not listen to this guy. If the advice somehow works for you, you are a statistical anomaly. When you give bullshit advice to hundreds of thousands of people, at least a few of them are bound to make it work. So yes, there are instances where the advice he gives works. And because Andrew says a lot of bullshit, uh, some of the bullshit is true, okay? I won't even deny that. But the point is, people have survived getting shot in the head. Do you want to get shot in the head? I'm guessing not. Or, I mean, after watching Andrew's videos, it seems like a good idea, but you get the point, right? Andrew Tate is an insecure man who just pulls things out of his butthole and throws it at people. When people call him out for it, he proceeds to talk about how they are either fat, don't get girls, or not as rich as him. And he always needs the, feels the need to flex something all the bloody time. People like this are insecure and just in a bad mental position. People like this should not be giving advice. Andrew Tate, he's successful, yes, but we can chalk that up to being in the right place at the right time. Straight up. Okay? He made it. You're not going to make it if you follow his bullshit advice. So don't. Don't be a retard.